What is up everyone, Corn O'Keefe, back yet again, and as the title implies, I'm bringing you a little death battle prediction for the next death battle. We got Ultron from Marvel Freaking Comics versus Sigma from the Mega Man series. I'm assuming they're just strictly sticking with him from the main video game canon, not so much the Archie comics and what have you. So with that being said, let's get right down to the prediction. Now, starting off, both these guys are respectfully much, much faster than the speed of light, as Sigma can keep up with both Mega Man and Zero, and if knowledge or memory serves, I'm pretty sure at one point he was faster than Zero and X, so keep that in mind. And both these guys have much faster than light travel, if memory serves. You even have Ultron, who's much faster than light as well, keeping up with Thor during combat, the Sentry, etc. And obviously Thor and Sentry can combat at much faster than light speeds, can cross galaxies, going massively faster than light. And Ultron is easily able to keep up with him. Now, in the comics, I'm sure you all know Ultron himself was originally created by Hank Pym. Um, I know the movies would have you believe it was Tony Stark and Bruce Banner, but uh, nah. In comic books, it was Hank Pym. But off track there for a minute, back on course, I would actually have to give the speed edge to Ultron. I mean, he's truly consistently kept up with Thor on numerous occasions. Um, Thor himself has calculations that put him billions of times the speed of light. Same with Sentry, and Ultron can just casually keep up with him. Now obviously, these Mega Man characters can reach much faster than light as well. I don't personally know the calcs, but easily much faster than light from the distances they have crossed in a short period of time throughout the vacuum of space, different planets, etc. Um, now attack power, obviously, if you want to be generous and scale Sigma to be above zero, because he was above zero and X for a short time until they got their upgrades. And I mean, a lot of people place him around solar system level in terms of attack power, anywhere from like star to solar system. And I can respect that. You know, I can see where they're coming from with that. And Ultron can easily match that or surpass it. You see, Ultron, again, has dominated Thor on several occasions. This is the same Thor who can literally survive a solar system size explosion. He can literally take hits from Silver Surfer, other people on his level. He can shake black hose. So yeah, definitely durable. And here's Ultron taking him down for the count on several occasions. So Ultron is definitely up to par in terms of attack potency and probably would surpass Sigma due to the fact he has very good adapt adaptation abilities. Meaning he can literally adapt to virtually almost any situation, especially with other characters who are connected with the cyber network and computers and all that themselves. Um, he can easily adapt if Sigma is around equal or even with his own attack power. Ultron can overcome that, essentially. Now durability his durability is insane. I mean, now Sigma obviously can take hits from Zero, Mega Man, these kind of characters who are, you know, comparable to himself. And he should be able to lift just as much and toss as much as Mega Man and what have you, you know. And Ultron, this guy, durable enough to just tank hits from Thor's hammer, tank hits from the Sentry. This is a guy who has the power of a million exploding suns, has been confirmed on numerous occasions. So right there, obviously, he has bare minimum solar system, if not more, you know, solar system plus to multi-solar system level durability. Now, there is other forms to Ultron as well, like Allfather Ultron and other stuff like that. But for the most part, they're probably just sticking with, you know, your standard Ultron and your standard Sigma. So, at the end of the day, I would say they are pretty comparable if you give Sigma, you know, benefit of the doubt, go with that type of scaling. 
you know, they could both be seen around the solar system ranges, but obviously Ultron is bare minimum at that level. This guy can literally just tank hits from these casual solar system level fighters like Thor, the Century, Silver Surfer, etc. You get the gist. And his his hacks are just much more impressive, just on a completely different level than Sigma. Now Sigma does have you know his intelligence he has his own skill he's a badass obviously in his own right he's gonna give Ultron hell that's for sure but at the end of the day this is nothing new for Ultron and Ultron has took down some of the heaviest Marvel hero some of the heaviest hitters in Marvel history and it's absolutely insane his ability to adapt all that stuff his durability his reaction speed is just all insane I got to give it to Ultron at least six times out of ten, folks. Let me know what you think down below. As always, have a blessed day. Ultron all the way. Peace.